This song is for all the radical fans out there, so guys, sing with me. Can't get radicals out of my head. These are the people's records head is saying, but hey, I've got something to say now. Watch my final review that's gonna show you These records rock and roll, you know They have nice control feel and touch is great too And stable they are when you need it In an offense and also defense I love the surf that goes always in it's so easy when you know how to swing fast Don't wait, don't be last and slow Don't leave nothing to chance and always step in Because these frames like fast swings They provide you enough control and precision With some decent spin potential under control, always under control On the net they feel crisp and, and clean The wooden sound will always tell the truth But hey, it's all about to play your game Whether you stay on baseline or you move forward These rackets are Everything you want so far Check out my full review Hello tennis guys and welcome to my channel so it is the radical time and I've got here the paper sheet with Taylor Fritz you know the man who's really promoting these records nowadays in the best possible way and we can see that there is the radical pro radical MP radical team and radical team L but I am reviewing the most demanding and the most anticipated versions and these are the Radical MP and Radical Pro and right away, right away at the beginning of the video I need to say something really really huge really important and I don't think people are really talking about it but guys it doesn't really matter which of these two versions I grab because they have the same head size but what do you see what do you see when you look at the head shape the heads head shape the heads radical head shape what do you see well it is obvious instead of head you can put their yonex and you can write their isometric technology yeah they did it they copied it it's almost i would say identical head shape to some of the older yonex rackets so the isometric is here and not only that i just think that when i look at the frame when you look at the head shape but I measured it guys with this tiny little thing yeah I measured it and I compared it with my Artengo TR 960 control tour 16 by 19 the Gamon Fierce racket but with the 16 by 19 string pattern not 18 by 20 that is used by Gamon Fierce and it is so obvious so 
This is a traditional oval head shape and this is the isometric head shape now created by head. And when I measured it, this racket, this racket's throat is about half centimeter, five millimeters longer. What does it mean? That it, the head is compressed in this position. It is more compressed here. What does it mean? When I turn the racket, it is wider there sideways and it is also wider about few millimeters in this position and in this position. So yeah, I had did it, I had did it and it works. So the sweet spot for both of these rackets is bigger. So this was, this was obvious right when I grabbed the rackets. I looked at them and I was like, what the heck? It's a Yonex, it's not head, it's a Yonex. So really good job from head that they did that. And I think that more of the racket companies are kind of doing that in the later updates. But anyway, guys, this review will be divided into one, two, three, four, five, six, six uh, chapters, let's say. And I will talk specifically about power, about spin, about precision and control, about comfort, about feel and touch. And the final verdict will be there also for the menu little bit. So guys, this is my, let's say, new approach for reviewing these records. And I have ton of materials. I played ton of hours with these records, matches, singles, doubles. Great, great experience. And I will start with the, with the fact that Head is calling these records the people's records. Mm, really, Head? People's records? So you think that every person is a player? Because these are not people's records. These are players records, guys. These records are serious. These records are radical. You need to bear in mind, these are not extremes. Extremes are much easier to play with, much easier to generate power, easier also to generate spin. So these records are mostly for really starting with good, good intermediate players but perfect for the advanced players and tournament oriented players. And it really doesn't matter which of these two rackets you grab, because the MP is essentially just a lighter version of the Pro. We know that. So both rackets have smaller head size, the 98 square inches or 630 square, 30, 30, not 32, 30 square centimeters. Both of these records have quite thin beam. Of course, the pro version is even thinner. So when you look at the beam for the pro, for the pro version, it is 20, 20 at the tip of the head. Then we go 21 and a half millimeters at the side. At this position and we have 21 the throat section okay the MP version is a little bit thicker but just at this position so at this position here it is 21 here it is 20 like with the pro version but just here at the let's say three o'clock and uh, nine o'clock the frame is thicker, okay? So that's why the MP version generates more easier power and it is my favorite racket. Now, we will start, as I mentioned, we will start with the power. So these are not the power rackets, not at all. 
they generate power but i would say like 20 20 25 maybe 30 percent less compared to the extreme racket so you need to swing with these rackets fast otherwise the power is limited you will overcome the net with both of these rackets really quite easily but if you don't swing enough fast the ball will end up short so easier power generation of course is with the mp version i like it the best and the pro version is powerful more compared to the mp version only when you hit it really nicely in the sweet spot so guys if you want a easier version just grab the mp racket because the power for the pro is i would say um, is, is not really overwhelming so it will not blow you away like oh now i grab the pro and it is much 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 better no it is better in some situations because it is more stable and so on but not in terms of the free power Now, next, we have the spin. And this is, I would say, most controversial uh, part, the spin. So I talked about the frame, how it is wider overall in these positions, how it is kind of feel like the isometric and so on and so on. And if you know the Yonex rackets, if you ever played with the Yonex rackets, it's not that easy actually to generate spin if you come from the oval head shape somehow you can hit more frames somehow when you when you are not used to the to, to the shape and both of these records they are 16 by 19 string pattern so it is really good for generating top spin but i felt that the spin for these rackets is not the main reason why you buying them the spin can be brutal but in some situation and i have it in the video these rackets kind of tend to overspin the ball somehow they spin it somehow too much somehow the ball flies too high over the net eventually it ends in okay but uh, these records like more uh, of the flatter shots so if you are really the spin guy who is spinning the the, the, the ball like crazy the extreme records are better versions because it may be has something to do with the how is it called the control pattern yeah the control pattern so it means that the strings are kind of denser in the in the overall string bed so the spacing between the strings is not that big compared to the extreme racket so that's why generating spin with these rackets it doesn't feel that i would say maybe natural so you really need to force yourself to generate the spin and then the spin can be really brutal somehow as i told you somehow you feel like this the ball is like overspinned so the spin is actually i think in my opinion is the worst is the worst thing to to expect from these rackets so uh, they like rather flatter shots more precise shots and now we're getting into the third chapter the precision and control and that's where these rackets make sense both of them so it is really easy actually to rate these rackets because one is 315 gram one is 300 gram and that's it 
everything is like 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 the same so in general these rackets are precise but not in a in a way like you would expect from pro staff rackets the precision is uh, great for for example for cross for cross shots when you're hitting cross it's really it's really going into it's really going deep and off and also you can create some great angles uh, with these rackets so I really like the precision is I would say like 80% of the of the performance of these rackets is the precision and the overall control and of course they are injected with the auxetic technology the same technology I'm so um, I'm so really hyped about I've always been talking about the auxetic technology right when I tested the boom rackets when I tested the extreme rackets that the that the auxetic technology is the biggest improvement in tennis rackets overall in the last couple of years it makes you feel more connected to the ball it makes the string bed more alive there is just a more uh, free power the string bed reacts with the frame so the auxetic is here it flexes uh, into the frame when you hit the ball so the strings when they bend the frame bends in and then it releases the energy back so it works really like a trampoline uh, the comfort is enhanced the balls the, or the, the vibrations are more muted but the sensation is there you feel more connected but with these radicals the auxetic sensation is the lowest from all the rackets I've tested with the auxetic technology and I think the reason for that is that the, the frame overall frame is kind of more compressed it's more solid feels more firm so the auxetic technology has less um, uh, less possibilities to to actually enhance the shots because overall the frame feels more solid so the auxetic has less freedom of doing that sensation doing that magic it is still there the connection to the ball is great but it the, the record really doesn't deliver the sensation I've had with the um, extreme records let's say so this is overall a more solid and I like that because the auxetic here in these records is not uh, taking away the things you, you you can do create yourself the auxetic is not here to correct you or to really help you it is there just to a little bit enhance it uh, compared to the extremes where the auxetic was really big I mean that the auxetic reaction was really huge and was really helping you but and correcting you in some way but here you are the creator of everything and these records are just tools you have and I like that they just feel more solid more more players record so the precision and control is good is like seven seven points eight points out of ten but don't expect some laser sharp uh, really laser sharp uh, hitting the corners and so on I just swing fast don't really think about it go for the shot and that's it but uh, you know where the ball will land compared to the extremes where you just hit 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 full full throttle all the time and you are going for the spin and raw speed now the fourth chapter the comfort the comfort as I said with the auxetic is just great no problem with my hand whatsoever it has been strung with the links uh links head links tour in this orange color so it matches the the color the frame and 
the, the tension was about 23, 22 kilos. Now it is lower, I believe now it is even like 19, 19 kilos. And it's actually good because it gives you more free energy because sometimes these rackets can feel dull, can feel muted, like you don't have the energy with, within the frame, it's, it's almost always upon you how you create the energy. So yeah, uh, I recommend stringing the rackets, well, let's say maybe lower compared to the extremes because the extremes, they are really powerful in the terms of the free power and that there is the power more concentrated so the comfort is really good for i would say like four out of five points really great don't expect any harsh vibration whatsoever it's, it's just a modern player's racket with the comfort in it so um, the, 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 the times where the head rackets felt kind of stiff and unpleasant to your arm they are gone they are really gone so now the fifth point feel and touch and now we are getting back to the auxetic so the feel and touch really great really great i like that so much i've hit one of the greatest drop shots with these rackets uh, from the baseline and also on the net when you hit the volleys it is so I would say it feels so natural with these rackets it there is nothing that really disturbs you or that makes you like well well I didn't expect that no no it feels like they are connected to your hand the racket is your hand so it is like I feel like I'm playing with my palm with with all the auxetic rackets it's like this is actually my racket okay and I'm hitting the the ball like like this and I'm grabbing the ball in my hand and whoosh whoosh so that's that's the feeling of the auxetic that is the sensation and that's why the touch and feel is so good with these records so really really on the highest on the one of the highest levels of the control of the feel and touch and the last chapter is the menu variability and I'm coming to the point where I, I'm not, I would say, disappointed, but like with the spin, the maneuverability is somehow the, um, not so great, I would say. I don't know why, but I feel like uh, the frame, when you look at the frame and when you look at the, the edges, it is it feels really like boxed it feels like this it is a boxed frame it looks like a boxed frame so there you have this flat surface and maybe how it is flat it feels also slow during the swing when you go against the ball when you hit the ball so this flat part this flat part of the frame is somehow uh, unable let's say go through the air as fast as possible so uh, the manual bit with the MP version is good I like it for my taste for my power for my strength it is really good but with the pro version I felt sometimes like I'm a lag I'm lagging I'm like too late maybe it's just the weight and I'm just a weak weak guy but sometimes I really felt like during the swing phase uh, somehow the, the record is somehow a little bit behind me let's say behind me and also during the serve when I was unable to really push the head in the last moment forward to finish the serve and, and to give a nice nice spin and kick to the ball so the menu a little bit i would say is like three three points out of five so we have these six chapters now to the overall uh, playability and my recommendation for whom these rackets i recommend so these rackets are great in many aspects 
my best shots with these rackets is without a doubt surf it is almost impossible to make an easy i would say easy double fold when you when you hit a double fold you already know what you did wrong with these rackets so they are telling you like hey you didn't use your legs you didn't go forward you tossed your ball somehow weird and these rackets will tell you that there is a kind of let's say automat automatic uh, feedback on the surf I really liked with the MP version much easier once again to generate like everything also the spin feels like it is easier to generate with the MP version but more solid and more overall plow through is with the pro and when we talk about the plow through this record has these both records have kind of what i've measured uh i would say medium swing weight or a swing weight that matches with the mp version rather than with the other records that are heavier so i measured with the mp version 318 swing weight and with the pro version 323 um for the pro version 323 isn't it too low for a 315 gram racket well i think that it is too low it should be higher but of course you can customize it just a little bit just a little bit not too much guys not too much just even one gram at the 12 o'clock and one gram sideways will do magic with this uh, with the pro version um, so the serve is great it was also great with the previous generation with the 360 plus generation i really enjoy that then double-handed backhand wow what a masterpiece with these records uh, because these are the also these are the players records i call them the players records i really enjoyed using the second hand of course for the double handed backhand that kind of finished the shot well that kind of gave the rackets the extra energy and these rackets can can absorb the energy really well and transfer it into the precision and control so i was able hitting my double handed backhand full throttle like like crazy like always 100 percent and the balls were magically going in super fast and always in and always in with the forehand uh, i wasn't that happy with my forehand i don't know why but my forehand sometimes was too short uh sometimes was like too to overspin as I told you uh, because I tried so hard to spin the ball that I somehow overspin the ball uh, overall forehand decent but not something I would really jump I would be jumping with joy so uh, double-handed double-handed back and definitely the best shot from the ground strokes then slices really good really good and when I jump back to the baseline play great on returns both of these rackets just swing fast guys just swing fast don't think don't think twice just swing fast on the net really good that's why these rackets are really popular among the players who play the serve and net so double players double players great for double players there are lots of double players who are using these rackets i believe more double double players doubles players are using these rackets compared to the single players so that's really interesting because these rackets offer everything from all the worlds they are great for the baseline they are great for the net they are great for the transitions when you transition from the baseline you go forward so the first let's say preparational volley is really good and also the finishing volleys uh with the wooden sound when you hit the ball inside the sweet spot there is always the the, the the wooden sound and it is so loud it is so loud it is like you are demolishing a house with these rackets so yeah that's why they call the they call the sound grommets the sound grommets 
Yeah. Because they make boom. They make the, the, the sound, the wooden sound. Okay, like, it's like this. To hit the ball and it's like, this sound comes from these rackets. So it's pure, it's raw. So, uh, what's my final verdict? My final verdict on these rackets, the MP version is just phenomenal. I enjoyed it very much, very much. So when I'm fit enough, when I'm really into, in, in the mood of playing a uh, the, the, uh, the real match, the MP is, the radical MP is better than the extreme MP. It feels like a more compressed, more control-oriented extreme tour, this MP version. So it is my winner and it is the candidate for the record of the year 2023. But we will see what the year will bring more. And the pro version is the pro version really worth compared to the MP? Are the 15 extra gram worth? Uh, for me, no. For me, no. They don't really deliver. But for a guy who is like 80 kilos strong, yeah, he needs a heavier racket. Why to play with a, with a three, 300 gram racket if you have power to really control the thinner beam and the, the higher weight, but for someone who is happy with the 300 gram rackets, there is absolutely no reason to go for the pro because the extra weight doesn't really deliver in the sense that you would be like blown away by it. Not at all. One thing I didn't mention, and it is great with these rackets, is that they work. They work also in the defense, so they are not like the extremes. These rackets somehow work also in the defense, so they are more capable, universal for, for the variable play. So you can attack with these rackets, you can go defense, you can uh, play cat and mouse game with these rackets, you can be creative. Um, but as I said, flatter shots, more direct hitting, more stepping in into the court. That's where these rackets shine. One thing I need to say honestly, and maybe it doesn't really, it won't make you really happy, or some of you. If you are an owner of the 360 plus version, consider buying these consider don't go and buy them immediately because the 360 plus version of the radicals was really good it's really good it has everything except maybe the comfort except maybe the 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 the, the, the easier connection to the ball but otherwise the previous 360 plus generation is really good. Just finish playing with the rackets like one, two more years and then transition to the auxetic. But it doesn't really make sense going right away from the 360 plus to this because the sensation is not that really huge. It is there, but it is like few, few small improvements, few small, uh, few small things, extra things that will make you happy. Um, but if you are owner of the 360 version, not the 360 plus, just grab these because you already played with the 360 for like four years now, and the frames can be really beaten inside the graphite. So it doesn't really make sense to jump from the 360 version to now to the 360 plus version to, to, to buy it uh, somewhere where they still have this 360 plus version. Just jump from the 360 to this. That makes sense. But at the end of the day, 
if you don't mind spending extra 200, 230 euros or dollars or 250 for the new frames, if you have the money, just, just grab them, just buy them. It's so easy, it's so easy. So the transition will be very easy for both of the version, 360 or 360 plus. But as I said, if you want to save some money and you want to buy these rackets in the discount, just wait one year or wait a few months when they will get discounted and then buy them. So it's not a 100% purchase right away, but these are great updates to the, to the radical line and I'm I'm so impressed by HAT, what they are doing. And, and someone told me in, the, in, in a few of the comments that, that he, he really likes the, the, sh the shape of the grip. And I think that the grip of these rackets, of the head rackets in general, is the best grip in the world. The shape is so great. It fits my hand so naturally. Um, the bevels and, and overall the width, the thickness, everything is, is perfect. It is really the best shaped grip. Then I would go with maybe, maybe Wilson. Wilson is also very, very good. Then maybe from the records I know the Technifiber. And maybe the last of all the, let's say, premium, premium records I, I played and I enjoyed will be the Yonex. The Yonex is specific, it's rounder, it's somehow bigger. So yeah, I like the head very much. One thing, what happened to me, and it goes, it goes a little bit against the, uh, the quality of these records, but it was a coincidence. When I hit a fast return, and I hit it uh, with the frame. With the frame, I have it on the camera. You will see that. Look what happened. Look what happened. So, so this happened, and it never happened to me actually. Or maybe once it happened with with the with the Pro Staff records, with the Pro Staff, I believe with the Roger Federer version that that somehow I tore, I tore torn. I did make uh, this grip to, to, to tear. I tore it, I tore it like this. And I was really surprised because it really never happened to me. But yeah, just remove it, just put it there. A new uh, base grip or do it with the old grip. Just replace it, stick it back to the racket and it will work. I didn't do that, obviously. I did finish the session with, with this. And I was, but I was really annoyed by that. So, anyway, Head Radicals, Auxetic 2023, great rackets overall, a player sticks for really for the good intermediate players and good uh, advanced players and also for the tournament players. And the MP version is my winner, the Pro version is, well, it's not bad, but for me it's too heavy somehow. So guys, if you enjoyed this review, just click the thumbs up, share the video, comment. You can do whatever you want. And as always, you can support my channel by buying me a coffee. The link is in the description. Then you can you can even send me some of your love through the super thanks button or you can use PayPal. Some, some uh, supporter did that, send me a few dollars through the PayPal. I really thank him for this. Uh, it was a surprise because he was the first person who did use the PayPal option. It was really, really great, great surprise and great uh, great um, support from him and then you can visit my store my art shop where you can buy some of the stuff I've created with the designs of Roger Federer Serena Williams Novak Djokovic 
and Rafa Nadal one of the greatest players of all time so guys that's all for now thank you for watching enjoy tennis play tennis every time every day and don't forget to enjoy the maneuverability bye guys radical yeah great rackets i really enjoy them sadly i will have to as always return them so radicals bye it was a pleasure you can't be serious man you cannot be serious that ball was on the line